He would talk to Dr. Phil about his compulsive exhibitionism, but as soon as they went to commercial, the guest made it clear how upset he was. Thomas, I've been over backwards for you, buddy. I think you've tried to make a fool of me, buddy. Yeah, well. Thomas had shown his body to over 50,000 women, but that was in the past, and now he wanted to put it behind him, so he could take the next step with his girlfriend, Tasha. He thought that by talking about it on the Dr. Phil show, he could do it, but soon, everything would take a course that neither of them expected and that would end up creating an iconic moment in television history. Have you asked me what I've done to overcome this problem? I don't think uh, you asked that question at all. You know, I haven't asked that question because I have problems with the answers. You know, you, you, have, you, you have a very much of... Uh, yeah, but you've never overcome uh, exhibitionism, so what would you know about it? Well, unless you've lived this problem, because okay, but that's I've, like I, that's, I said, hey, but wait a minute. That's like telling a brain surgeon they've got to have had a tumor in order to help somebody. No, it that isn't. Does. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It isn't the same at all. It's not the same at all. It's not the same at all. This is a behavior. It's not a condition of the mind that can be fixed by a doctor doing technical work. This is a behavior that unless you have experienced the humiliation of this behavior, you couldn't possibly know what it's like. So, oh, I don't I, know. I have no question that that's true. Don't, hey, don't show me your hand. Are you through talking? Yeah, I think okay. I'm through talking. Okay, we'll be right back. Tempers were already running high on the show, but it wasn't until they went to commercial that everything blew up. Thomas, I've been over backwards for you, buddy. I think you've tried to make a fool of me, buddy. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he wants to go forward with his girlfriend. Yeah, I think I do. I said I did. Well, why do you want to do that? Because I said I would, and I don't... I'm a man of my word when I say I want to well, do something. Well, I'll certainly release you from that commitment whatsoever. Well, no, I didn't ask to be released from that commitment. I said I was going to do something, and I intend to do what I what I said I was going to do. Do you want my that's help how with I, it? That's how I live my life today. Yes, I do want your help with it. Even though you think I've made a fool out of you? No, I don't think you've made a fool out of me. Well, that's what I, you said, and no, I can play that no, back. I, I got no, it on I tape. said I think you've been trying to make a fool out of me. Okay. I don't, you can't make a fool out of someone who doesn't feel like a fool. I don't feel like a fool. I don't feel like a fool at all. And everyone's entitled to their own opinion, and I respect that. I respect the fact that everyone has an opinion, and everybody's entitled to that opinion. Well, I'm Everybody here's to... a Dr. Phil fan. They're not a Thomas fan. I, I didn't, nobody came here because they're a fan of me. They came here because they're your fan. Thomas didn't want to be laughed at and immediately became defensive. This would finally doom his participation in the show. Okay, well, I'm happy so to So anything talk to you this... say, they're going to go along with that. So. Well, I think you're in... I think well, that's it's a... true. It's true. These are Dr. Phil fans. Oh, listen, not you fans. should read my message boards if you think these... Okay, well, whatever. Uh, but we'll certainly... I'll meet you backstage. Wonderful. And Thank you. We'll do that. Dr. Phil is recognized for tough temper. If anyone tries to get smart with him, he doesn't care about the production's efforts to get a guest. He has no problem kicking them off without question if he feels it's necessary. That has led to his show being one of the most watched shows on American television. Now, I have to warn you, some of this footage that you're about to see is clearly inappropriate for young viewers. Please ask your children to leave the room. And I'm serious, you really don't want your kids watching this, and it's not going to be fun for you to see it. But we have to be aware of what's floating around out there and what our kids have access to. Okay, here is Ty defending his bum fights video. The subject matter was a complicated and too raw for everyone to see, but Dr. Phil wanted to show it and talk to its creator to get his own point of view. However, after showing all the images, something changed in him. Stop the tape. I don't want to talk to you. Why not? That's despicable. I don't want to talk to you. You can go. If you if you think if you if you think I exploit people, every time you bring a guest on this show, you exploit them and spread whatever problems they have to the whole world. You think that's helping them? Yeah, keep telling yourself that. You can go. Uh, you know what? Who do you think you are, huh? 
Bye. Hey, bro, come on. Huh? Come on, come on. No, Bye. I'm not finished talking to you. Yeah, you are. Come no, on. I'm not. Come yeah, you are. Come on. No, I'm not. Come on. Yeah, you are. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Sorry, but that I, I just watched that footage, and that is absolutely despicable, and I refuse to publicize that. I'm just not going to do it. Clearly could not have a serious dialogue about this ridiculous topic. I think what I saw on these screens is absolutely despicable. I think it's deplorable, and I think it is an insult to my intelligence and those of my viewers for somebody to stand up and say, I'm trying to help people by doing this. Dr. Phil is one of those shows that has become a cult. The stories he deals with, as well as the charisma of the presenter himself, have managed to penetrate American society in a very deep way. The topics tend to become talking points for the news and for internet portals. However, of course, so do the controversies he often addresses, as happened with the interview with the exhibitionist, Thomas. Thomas, I've been over backwards for you, buddy. I think you've tried to make a fool of me, buddy. No, oh, well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he wants to go forward with his girlfriend. Yeah, I think I do. I said I did. Well, why do you want to do that? Because I said I would, and I don't, I'm a man of my word when I say I want to well, do something. Well, I'll certainly release you from that commitment. Well, no, I didn't ask to be released from that commitment. I said I was going to do something, and I intend to do what I, what I said I was going to do. Do you want my that's help? How I, that's how I live my life.